I'm gonna be using the Manny Mall palette and I'm gonna be grabbing Sora by his palette and putting it all over my crease. And I also want to let you guys know that just ignore my hair in this video and my little outfit that I had because I was going towards a really different look and it came out to be the cut crease. So I just went with it, enjoy the makeup look and ignore everything else. <laughs> So right on top of Sora, I'm going to be grabbing this really old Wet n Wild palette that I had in my makeup and I'm just going to be putting it right on top of Sora to give it more definition to the eye and I'm also going to be grabbing the really dark brown by the Manny Moi palette which I cannot mention the name but um, these two colors are going to give a lot of definition to the crease. Now to cut the crease, I'm going to be using my NARS Custard Concealer and I really like this concealer because the wand helps me a lot to define that cut crease but if you don't have this, of course use whatever concealer you want and you can use a really defined brush to help you out and this is what I love about a cut crease that a concealer can help you clean everything really nicely but don't forget to set your concealer because by the day it can really um, be really messy so I want some red tones in there so I'm going to be grabbing Mars by the Manny Moi palette and I'm going to be putting it right on top of that um, those colors that I put at first which was Sora and you know the other one that I couldn't mention and I'm just gonna be you know putting out putting it all over and mixing them and don't be scared to be messy because at the end of the day we are gonna blend so just blend 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 you guys know my usual trick I'm gonna grab Pris Pot, Mama Bird and Raga Muffin by the Laura Lee palette and just put in putting it right on the bottom of my um, brow bone Now I'm going to be grabbing Luna by the Manny Moi palette and I'm going to be putting it all over my lid. I love this color. I think it's such a perfect color for the holidays and for this cut crease. And I just, you know, smothered all of that Luna color all over my lid. And don't forget to use a little bit of mist and flip fix if you do have it because since I ran out of it, I was like, oh my god, I wish I had a mist and fix right now so it can pop a little more. But... As you guys can see, I didn't, so. So I'm gonna be applying some liner, and then I'm also gonna be curling my lashes and putting some mascara on. 
For my lashes, I'm going to be applying Goddess. For my foundation, I'm going to be going in with my W6 True Match. I love this foundation and it's very affordable, so why not? To mattify my face, of course, I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix Powder by MAC. For my concealer, I'm going to be going in with Custard by LA Girl, favorite concealer ever, of course. And I really want my under eyes to be bright and awake for that family dinner, so let's get it. Now I'm going to be grabbing my airspun and let's bake. Now I'm going to contour with my Beautifully Bronze by LA Girl. And I'm just going to be putting it on the hollows of my cheek and also uh, cheeks. And also I'm going to be putting it in my nose and I'm going to be putting some porcelain concealer on the middle of my nose because we want my nose to be concealed as well. And guys, always remember, if you don't get scared if you put too much um, bronzer on, we are going to clean it up right after. And don't leave your nose very unblended. So go back with the Studio Fix Powder by MAC and clean it up. That helps a lot. For my powder contour, I'm going to be using this one by e.l.f. And I'm just going to be putting it on the hollows of my cheeks and then on top of my forehead where I can see that I need contouring and then I'm going to be going back with my studio fix and just you know cleaning up everything that looks really messy then I'm going to go in with my air sponge and put it on the bottom of my uh, hollows of my cheeks so I can clean it up for my blush I'm going to be using this one by Estee Lauder and I love this blush is a really pretty blush that just makes you look really like a really natural blush so I really liked it and I know it can be really expensive but for some reason my mom gave me this and I decided to try it out and I loved it for this look I'm gonna be using this ColourPop Cosmetics um, eyeliner that I'm gonna be putting it on my waterline and to smudge and smoke out the bottom um, lid a little bit I'm gonna be using Mars Sora in that one color I couldn't say by the Manny Mall palette the really dark brown and I'm gonna be smudging everything together so we can get a really nice um, smoky under eye Now today for my highlight, I'm going to be using Charming Pink by Laurel Geller and I'm going to be applying it everywhere where I want just to, you know, shine bright like a diamond. So I'm going to just be putting it everywhere and bathe in this beautiful Charming Pink highlighter. Today, I'm going to be using an oldie but really goodie is Tuli by ColourPop Cosmetics. The name already fade on it. You can't even tell which brand this lipstick is because, you know, I've used it so much and I've had it on the side for so long. And I just decided to mix it up with this beautiful look because it just went with this look. But if you guys want to change up the lip, you are more than welcome to. Yeah. We will fuck in the morning, then you want it, boy, I know from the touch. How can you say no? 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I love creating it. Today I did kind of a look for that party girl that just loves attention at family parties. I know Thanksgiving is coming. You could wear this look whenever you want. I mean, it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving, but since I went more for a subtle look on the last look that I did for Thanksgiving, I wanted to go all out on this one. And I honestly was imagining something really different in my head and I came up with this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what your favorite part of this look was. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah.